Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I make videos for anyone who's looking to try and improve their chess in a club rating level, beginner level, any level really. I'm just documenting my chess journey, sharing what I'm learning, sharing uh, how I'm trying to get better at chess and all of that, my training methods. So if that sounds interesting, please consider subscribing as it would be greatly appreciated. Um, I've got a special video today. We're going to be looking at a game from Magnus Carlsen. Um, and he will be playing the uh, Karo Khan. It's a game, it's a, I believe it was a rapid game between Anish Giri with the white pieces and Magnus Carlsen with the black pieces. And I think it's, I think this, I think it's quite instructive and um, to any Karo Khan players, uh, to anyone who really just plays chess, I think you can get some uh, great um, ideas out of this uh, game. Okay, so uh, Anish Giri here starts E4, uh, C6, uh, D4, uh, D5, um, and now E5. I mean, on my channel, most of the time, I think 90% of the Karakhan videos are all uh, Knight F3. But here, um, uh, Anish Giri goes E5, the advance. Uh, Bishop F5, uh, Knight F3, and E6. Uh, Giri here continues Bishop E2, so a short variation. And now, already on move 5, uh, the position kind of spices up a bit. Um, the most common moves are like Knight D6. Knight d7, knight e7, h6. However, um, what, what Magnus Carlsen here goes uh, bishop b4. It's interesting because I it uh, I probably wouldn't play a move like this before I saw this game because I wouldn't really understand just after c3, uh, white's just played c3 and kicked your bishop out and you haven't done much. But there's a there's a very cool idea behind this move. Anyway, Carlsen continues uh, bishop a5, uh, castles, and now a uh, knight d7. Um, a4 is played, and now uh, bishop c7. So now we see the idea behind this. It's a, it's interesting. Um, all the way back here, this bishop is transferring from this square to a c7. Um, so yeah, it's it's an interesting maneuver. I've never really seen it before, and um, I think I'll try and let this game inspire me to uh, play this next time I got the back pieces and get this variation. So bishop c7, it's kind of a prophylactic move, and we just transfer, and now it's on a nice diagonal where we can open up this center. Uh, knight b to d2 is played, and now here, um, it's a completely new game. This game has ever been, this position has ever been reached in the database. Um, so we got a new game now, so uh, we'll see um, how it goes. Um, f6 is played. Uh, Carlson wants to open this up. If takes, uh, then this bishop comes alive. Um, so for that reason, um, Geary continues rook e1. Uh, rookie one is kind of just kind of slightly x-raying this um, this file as the king is still here and if um, say knight h4 is played then um, this pawn can become very weak for example um, another another line that could have happened here after uh, f6 if rookie one was not played I was wondering about knight h4 um, sorry not knight h4 straight away takes takes and then knight h4 uh, but I think castles would just be played takes takes, and um, this is this is seen sometimes. I've, this reminds me of kind of Dutch positions, um, and yeah, I think this position would be fine, honestly. Um, so that's a line that could have been happened, but it didn't. So rookie one, uh, knight h six is played. A very interesting move. This knight can come to g four. Can also go to f seven. It's just interesting to see how this knight is developed. Um, and not and not to uh, e7. Um, anyway, uh, Giri continues uh, knight f1. Uh, Magnus takes takes, and now Magnus just castles. Uh, but however, Giri does take this chance to double uh, Magnus's pawns. Um, these are now doubled and isolated, and we'll see uh, we'll see what Magnus had in mind um, as compensation for this. Obviously, it could be an open file, but I think it's very interesting the way um, the game unfolds. Anyway, um, after this is played, and now after takes, a uh, queen d4 is played, uh, centralizing this queen and just bringing it in. However, uh, Magnus Carlsen plays quite a nice move here, bishop e4, kind of cutting the queen off, and uh, there's a nice threat here to take and uh, win this pawn. So uh, Geary responds to the threat, knight g3, and now uh, Carlsen goes c5, uh, kicking this queen away, uh, queen e3, and now we take, take, Carlsen here goes uh, queen g5, quite interesting I thought. Um, because it takes, I mean, obviously this pawn's under attack now, and, um, 
the game continued takes takes and now we've undoubled these pawns and we've got a uh, magnus has a very nice position here actually he's got lots of space um there's a weak pawn here and uh yeah i, th I think the position is very pleasant here for black anyway uh Geary tries bishop g4 uh rook e8 was played defending this pawn and now um Geary continues here uh rook e2 uh there's no way to really defend this pawn so it's, it's just lost uh knight e5 was played and now uh, Geary tries uh, bishop h5, uh, rook d8, and now uh, rook d1. Uh, not going not going rook e1 because of uh, knight d3 ideas, so uh, going rook d1. And now Carlson actually plays a quite a nice move here. What's our c4? Kind of creating an outpost. This is actually an amazing outpost, especially if this, this, if this bishop can take this, then this outpost is just crushing. Um... Either with this knight on the board, as long as uh, Gary doesn't exchange it, I mean, this is just great. Also, c5 is so, sorry, c4 is also a very nice move because it opens up this diagonal. As you see, um, there's going to be lots of pieces lining up this uh, weak f2 square. Anyway, uh, knight f1 was played, and now after knight d3, Gary here resigns. Uh, there's too many threats, the position is practically just not really playable especially at the grandmaster level this is just this is completely lost already at the grandmaster level um and even even as like a club rated player looking at this uh this this position looks so pleasant for magnus he can go bishop b6 i mean he can just he can take um after sorry not, yeah knight f1 was not the knight d3 i mean there's too many threats uh here here that really knight f2 and uh, this bishop's kind of out of the game, and yeah. So I thought it was a nice, interesting game. It was very short. It was only uh, 23 moves. I thought I'd share it. And uh, let me know what you thought of it. If you got any uh, value or you enjoyed the video, uh, leave a like sub, as it would be greatly appreciated. And yeah, have a good rest of your day.